Welcome. And the question today from Spilled Rice is, what ruined Christmas this year? Hi, this is Derek, I just put the drama llama, Fred, back in his llama pen, so that I can do this quick video for you with some of the stuff that Fred found on Reddit earlier today. If this is your first time watching our videos, help me out by watching to the end, and then giving me some feedback in the comment area below. And if you want more of these videos daily, don't forget to like and subscribe, with notifications turned on for this channel. Oh boy, let's get ready for some drama. Stylist by day answered with. My cat died on Christmas Eve suddenly. I had him for almost 15 years. It was sudden. But I still feel responsible. I love you Nao, no one's gonna see this, because it's late to post a reply. But I just want to keep saying it until it feels real. Snask Choice answered with. My brother got hit by a car on the 14th of December. And still lies in an artificial coma in the hospital. Bear one answered with. My dad refusing to come to Christmas. Because his girlfriend is manipulative. Purple Pal 4 answered with. My sister getting extremely drunk, and telling us she wants to do heroin in a controlled environment. To try and help our uncle, who abandoned his child for drugs, come back into reality. She isn't going to become a junkie she just wants to know what it's like. So she can try to help him. It's been an emotional couple of hours. Trying to get the fact that this wouldn't work through her thick skull. Abby Absinthe answered with. Finding out one of my cousins is in really poor health. I hadn't seen him in a few months but since then. He's gotten a hernia in his groin that's grown to the size of a soccer ball. And though he's only 27 or 28, he's gotten so sick, he looks and sounds like he's 45. This is in the span of a few months. He refuses to get medical attention for it. And I think he's killing himself by not doing so. If he ignores it he could get himself killed over it. Hernia is not usually life-threatening if treated, but left alone they can cause serious issues. If there is anyone in your family he is more prone to listen to have them get real with him. And see if he'll go to a doctor about it. Edo Ian answered with. Mother died a few days ago. And the apartment above me went on fire at 1 a.m. Christmas morning and we were evacuated. Lots of water damage. Last Christmas Eve my mom, 71 died. New Year's Eve my dad, 78, had a heart attack and died. At mom's funeral reception the entire family got food poisoning from the food the church provided. Seems a bit comical now. Not the least bit funny then. Bye bye at Lalaki answered with. The power went off and never came back on. We had Christmas dinner at McDonald's. All the food was ruined. Nerdy Pumpkin 276 answered with. Found out my 19 years old sister got married to her boyfriend 5 months ago. And still hasn't actually told us yet. Apparently she's waiting to tell us until she visits. None of us like her boyfriend, now husband. And he doesn't treat her like she deserves. This visit will be interesting. JMPJSP answered with. Everyone caught the flu. No one was spared. One by one my family members are falling ill and all of their post-Christmas plans are crumbling. Like so many gingerbread cookies. Flu is really hitting hard this year. I work in a hospital lab, and we're seeing tons of positive flu tests. It usually doesn't get this crazy until early February. And Terna Mayor 3 answered with. My fiancé cancelled the wedding. Throw it away 1510 answered with. Mom died at the beginning of the year, so this was the first Christmas without her. Doubly sucks because my nephew spends every Christmas at the house. And he didn't want to do it this year. Edit. I just realized I forgot to add that my mom's old man, he was still living with me. Died of a stroke a few days ago. But his sister took care of everything. This Christmas time would be a hell of a lot worse if I had to deal with the cremation and all that jazz. These two things plus a few other moments made me realize that 2019 effing sucked. And I am hoping 2020 is better. 
X Clovis 7 answered with. My cousin's got a mini bounce house. And it popped with like 10 kids inside all under 8. The amount of crying broke my eardrums. Kraken Lola 2 answered with. That may have ruined your Christmas, but hey, I got a laugh out of it. CSU Debate answered with. My ex-wife did not have the guts to tell me she was doing Christmas dinner, with her sugar daddy's family. I don't give a poop if she was here but she just ghosted my daughters and me. I even asked her yesterday if she was going to be with us for dinner and she said. Of course I will, why wouldn't I? It brought back horrible memories about why I left her butt in the first place. To be fair, I had a great evening with my daughters. But there was a gnawing anger in the back of my mind that I couldn't let go of. Edit. Since folks are offering advice, I want to clarify that the ex and I normally get along very well. We have been separated and divorced for years. In the years since the divorce she has been dependable given that I don't ask much of her. She sometimes does little things that reaffirm my decision to not be in a marriage with her. But they don't affect me since I don't have to live with that behavior anymore. The reason last night pissed me off more than usual is because. Disappearing from the family was something she did during the last few years of our marriage. And it caused me massive amounts of stress back then. There are a few things she can do to trigger bad memories and that is at the top of the list. Estaso Dope answered with. A few months ago I decided to cut off my toxic drug addicted mother. Of course being the holidays, my grandmother and a few cousins decided I needed to get into the Christmas spirit. And forgive my mother because it's Christmas. And my sisters miss me. I don't know what my sisters have to do with me cutting off my mom, my sisters are adults. We live 1500 miles away from each other, of course they miss me. I'm not forgiving someone who isn't sorry. I'm not allowing toxic people back into my life. Just because it's the holidays. I'm not forgiving someone who isn't sorry. I needed to read that this morning. Stay strong. Keep the toxic people away. And never feel guilty about it. Kingo Wisco answered with. Got the flu. Poop my way to Christmas morning. QT Pie answered with. Me. Was invited to a lovely dinner by my boss with his extended family. Everything went amazingly well, even though I was nervous. I didn't drink anything due to medications. Yet still managed to vomit profusely all over his car when he was giving me a ride home. Edit. Wow, what a way to wake up. Some extra context. I was promoted to manager for his company within the last month. The business is very small, 5 employees. And he learned that I would be spending Christmas alone, and didn't want that to happen. I think the cause was most likely motion sickness. I live in a large city and haven't needed to be in a car for a very long time. This being the first in about a year. I was trying to open the door or window, but they were possibly safety locked. As he has recently had a baby. Edit 2. Offered to have the car cleaned and he said. No worries, more just worried if you are okay. Seriously lucked out with the best boss ever. Profits Profits answered with. My mom, she's basically the Grinch this time of year. She's a narcissist and only cares about her own feelings, and my dad is a coward towards her. Edit. I appreciate the support from everyone. To everyone else who relates, we can only go up from here. The more respect I gain for myself, the more I think of how this lady should be removed from my life. Even though she's my mom. It's definitely not easy but it'll be worth it in the end. Not hopeless answered with. Found out my family actually had a Christmas party. A few days ago, I got a card and directions to a charity dinner. I figured that was their way of telling they weren't doing anything this year. Apparently it was actually their way of telling me I wasn't invited. Edit. I am 23 female, my family disapproves of me because they don't get along with my mom. The family also does not approve that I took a few years off before going into post-secondary. And recently broke up with my partner. Well at least they gave you directions to something else. I found out. I was being lied to about holidays dinners were no longer being celebrated by anyone. Only to find out that for the past 8 years my parents. And most of my siblings were getting together all these years. 
Mrs. Stressed Mom answered with. My five-year-old looked at all his Christmas presents three days before Christmas. And the dog peed on the tree. Which also got on many gifts. Oga Baga Boy answered with. My uncle grabbing my butt. And my whole family laughing about it. Had a, step, uncle who was a known molester. So thankfully was never left alone with me but every Christmas Eve. I'd have to sit on his lap because he missed having a little girl to cuddle. He'd kiss my neck and ears. And if I protested he'd bite hard. And tickle me at the same time so parents were clueless and laugh when I set out. Edit. Thank you all for your supportive words. Said uncle is long dead and no danger to others. Moonrise 93 answered with. Mom has the flu, so the family voted to move the family get together to Saturday, when I work. No compromise could be made. None of my siblings or extended family invited me over for their small get togethers. So I spend the whole day alone. Didn't even get a Merry Christmas text back from any family members. Joey KBT answered with. My cousin stole my $250 and once she got caught said. But I need it and me, is too spoiled anyways. She then proceeded to get half of it after crying a fit. And refused to give it back, until she got some. And after all that, I still don't know why her parents don't punish her. Since they're actually half decent. Every year from this point on. Buy her a cheap Christmas card and write in it. Remember that $250. I'm talking for the next 30 years. M loves coffee answered with. My mother-in-law tried to feed my eldest child mango. Which she's been allergic to for the past 11 years. My eldest said what are you doing? Grandma I'm allergic. Grandma said. It'll be okay, it's Christmas. Um. No. Food allergies don't take Christmas off you idiot. Omni Nullis answered with. Well, no one showed up. That kinda killed the spirit. Easily bored one answered with. I got my boyfriend a model kit. He called it cheap and said it probably wasn't even worth his time to assemble. And then told me later on not to let it discourage me from buying things. Well, there you have it. A perfectly great question answered by a bunch of fine and honorable citizens. Help support this channel by smashing the like and subscribe buttons. And hit that silly little bell as well to ensure you get the latest videos as they come out. Fred is always finding stuff for me to post regularly. So this is Derek signing off. Thanks for watching. Good grief, it sounds like Fred is out of his pen again. I think he found more drama for me to share with you. See you soon.